For 1,600 years, the legend that Peter was buried on this spot had empowered the popes in life and beckoned to them at life's end. Down through the ages, dozens of popes, cardinals, and saints have been buried beneath the basilica to be near the tomb of Peter. Clad in rich vestments, embroidered robes, and bejeweled mitres, the symbols of their exalted office, they lie within vaulted crypts beneath the basilica, all drawn to Peter's legendary resting place. By the 20th century, room was running short. Finally, in 1939, workmen began enlarging the papal crypt. Suddenly, incredibly, they found themselves face to face with the legend of Peter's burial site. A shovel went through the floor. They realized that there was something below them that was not foundational for the basilica. And literally, during World War II, under the nose of the Nazis who were around and occupying Rome, uh, it took 12 years, and Pope Pius XII gave permission to excavate the site down below St. Peter's. And bucket by bucket, sometimes during night, they would take the dirt out. Gradually, they unearthed an ancient red wall, the remnants of a shrine undisturbed since the time of Constantine. It was covered with faint Greek and Roman symbols. Among them, dozens of times, the word Peter. Inside an ornate tomb, bones, hundreds of bones from ancient burials at the Vaticanus. The bones of boys, of women, even animals. Everything but the bones of a man who had been crucified. Finally, they found one more set of bones buried in a humble niche beneath the wall. At first, they seemed unimportant. But when scientists examined this set of bones, the results were electrifying. And after testing was done, they found that the bones were of a man from the first century, a robust man. And they found a piece of bone from every part of the body, except from the ankles down. And why would that have been? Because when he was crucified upside down, what most likely happened, as it was often the case, to re remove the body from the cross, they would cut the feet off at the ankles and take the body and bury him nearby. All tradition and scripture, all that pointed to the fact that St. Peter was right here, is more or less confirmed. The ancient bones were returned to their simple resting place. For 19 centuries after his crucifixion, Peter's burial site had been a matter of legend and faith. Finally, in an era of rampant skepticism, that legend and faith were vindicated. St. Peter's stands exactly where it ought to stand. A plumb line dropped from the dome would pass through the main altar and straight down to the grave of Peter. The Great Basilica is a dazzling monument to the power of faith. 